Breeding and mating are essential and important parts of every dog's life. Yet, many people are surprised by the way dogs mate. More often than not, intercourse between a female and a male dog turns into a rather scary scene. This is because something unique happens with dogs and other members of the canine family during mating. They appear to become stuck. In this video, we'll explain why this phenomenon happens, why dogs appear to be distressed by it, and whether you should intervene. Dog reproduction is a complex process that often begins with a courtship. Both female and male dogs send signals to let the other know that they are ready for mating. Once they have finished mating, the male dismounts the female. This is quite usual, but the odd part only happens at the end of the mating session, when the male stands directly behind her and faces the other way. And you'll find out that the male's genital organ is still inside the female. Getting stuck is a common, natural phenomenon and the dog doesn't really have much of a choice about it. It is simply a stage of the breeding process and is technically known as copulatory tie. And there is no defined time until when the dogs would remain in that awkward position. It may last up to an hour. Dogs get stuck to each other because there are multiple things happening while they are mating. To understand the full process, we first need to analyze the male canine's erectile tissue. All mammals' penises are equipped with two kinds of erectile tissue. One functions to get the penis stiffened, and the other fills the penis glands, which in turn swells the organ. For most mammals, the two tissues activate at once, but in dogs, the penis is stiffened before intercourse begins, and the penis doesn't really start swelling until he is safely inside her. When the male enters the female and the ejaculation occurs, the male's genital organ expands significantly, growing three times in width and two times in thickness compared to its flaccid state. The female genital organ will also react to the situation. The vaginal muscles will kick in and start squeezing down on the penis. It is the squeezing and the swelling that lock the dogs into their awkward position. This is when the male dog will swing a leg up over the female's back and stand directly behind her until the erection subsides. The two dogs will remain in place until the male's penis deflates and the female's vaginal muscles relax. The tie helps keeping the sperm secured inside the female dog which means the female dog has a higher chance of getting pregnant. Theories suggest that the reason the two dogs face outward from each other is a form of defense mechanism. It allows the two dogs to survey their surroundings, though it could just be a comfort thing. If you come across two dogs who are tied to another, do not try to separate them. While the dogs often start whimpering, whining, or even barking, it's important to realize that this process is completely natural. Separating them is dangerous and can hurt both dogs. It can rupture their sexual organs. After a while, the dog penis will return to its normal size, and the two dogs will be able to go their separate ways. Even if you are upset because you do not want the two dogs to breed with each other, you should not try to separate them. The male dog has already ejaculated, and there's nothing you can do to stop it at this point. Attempting to break up the dogs will only risk hurting them. Interestingly enough, this behavior isn't unique to dogs. It's found in most canids, including wolves, foxes, and coyotes.